I'm Harvey Brolovsky, the rabbi of the Golders Green Synagogue. Today's question is how we work out when Shabbat begins and when it ends. Well, it should be quite simple. The Torah says, erev vayvoker, it was evening and it was morning. The day begins when it gets dark, and it ends when it gets dark. So that should be it. Shabbat starts when it gets dark and ends when it gets dark the next day. But it's a bit more complicated than that, because the rabbis in ancient times realised that we weren't really sure whether dark means when the sun sets or when it's nightfall. So we accommodate both, and that's why, certainly in the UK, Shabbat lasts for around 25 hours. So how do we work out exactly the time that you see published in the newspaper? Well, first of all, we want to make sure that you start observing Shabbat a little before it starts and a little after it ends to make sure things don't go wrong. But beyond that, there is a mitzvah of Tosefet Shabbat, of adding to the Shabbat from the weekday. Shabbat should be so exciting and so engaging that we want to add a little more. We want it to start early and finish late. Exactly how early and how late, though, differs from community to community. In most communities like ours, we start Shabbat 16 or 18 minutes before sunset. But in other communities, it's longer or a little less. And in Yerushalayim, a whole 40 minutes before sunset is the time at which Shabbat begins. What about when it ends? Well, in theory, you should be able to go outside and when you can see three medium-sized stars that are close together, it's dark enough that Shabbat has ended. But we live in lit places where the electric light and certainly the cloud in the UK obscures that, so we have a published time. It's a few minutes after nightfall. How exactly you calculate nightfall, of course, rabbis disagree about. But it means that in this country, Shabbat ends from around 10 to 5, right in the depths of winter, with the extra hour to about 10.30 in the middle of the summer.